What is chemistry? Chemistry is defined as the study of matter and its composition, and also the changes in which matter undergo. And when you look around us, you see all forms of matter in different states, from solid to liquid to gas and other non-classical states, like plasma. Everything found around us is composed of matter, from your furniture to your gadget to your electronics, to your, um, to your clothing materials, to metallic materials, to your plastics, to food materials, to drugs, and every other thing. Around us, we have matter. Now, these matter, or these forms of matter, are composed of tiny particles in gazillion amounts, right, to make up these structures. Now, we as scientists, we choose to study what these forms of matter are made up of and what kind of changes this matter can undergo when subjected to conditions they ordinarily are not exposed to. For example, if you su subject your piece of wood to a condition of high temperature, say by the application of fire or something, or you subject it to a condition of high pressure, what happens to it? What happens when you mix one substance with another substance under average conditions and under severe conditions, would there be changes? Would there not be changes? Now, the study of what happens to matter when subjected to stress, stress in this case means new conditions that they ordinarily wouldn't experience. Now, they are made to undergo changes, which is a core definition of chemistry. Everything we, we use today has been produced all right, from several raw materials under several conditions. Your plastics were produced from polymerization of certain minute units called monomers. That is chemistry. The cooking of food, the conversion of food under the influence of heat and water right, to a new substance, and a new substance in this form is a more edible substance, is chemistry. All processes all processes which occur in nature involves chemistry, which means that anything you see, any changes you see in nature from one form to another is chemistry. And when you take it upon yourself to study what compositions you have in any sample of matter, maybe air, maybe water, maybe solids, maybe liquids, or anything, whenever you take it upon yourself to study what these substances are made of, then what you are doing is chemistry. Why is chemistry so important? Chemistry is important because it has modernized the lifestyle of man. You see, at the, at the early days, man used to live in a cave and was called a Mr. Caveman. And then what he did was he, he had a very small hut where he lived inside, right? Somewhere in the remote regions of Africa. And um, around evening, Mr. Caveman and his friend, another Mr. Caveman, um, we're having a chat, a discussion, okay, that means, or some, sometime in the evening. And then, whilst they were playing about, one of the men took a piece of rock and another piece of rock. And then they struck these pieces of rock against each other. And then what he noticed was, he noticed a spark. And then the other Mr. Kemal was very clever. I told him to repeat that, which he did. And then he saw another spark. Then what happened was, the other Mr. Kemal, which was his friend, ran outside. He collected wheel leaves and dry sticks brought them inside, and then they continued to knock the rocks against each other, against those dry leaves. And then suddenly they came about fire. And I will tell you that the discovery of fire was um, served um, as a very basis for westernization today. The discovery of fire served as a very basis for our modernization. It serves as the very basis of science as a whole. And then because fire changed the material life of man, it helped, him, it helped him cook his food, it helped, him, it helped him process materials, it helped him warm up his environment during cold nights and in the, in the winter, right? And then fire also helped him scare away um, wild animals in the forest, it helped him scare away beasts in the forest. In short, fire changed the material life of man. And that serves as the very basis of modernization and of science. And then years later, um, discoveries and technologies were brought in day in, day out, and we are where we are today. Today, science is divided into several branches. One of them is chemistry. And as a matter of fact, I would say 
that chemistry happens to be the central science. Why? Because it plays parts in every other field of science, from physics to mathematics to biology to biochemistry to medicine to agriculture. To mention but a few, you have chemistry involved in every of these parts. Because each of these field of, of science involve materials and the changes of materials from one form to another. It also involves the production of new species from old raw materials. And what you are doing technically is chemistry. When you produce something new, right, from certain raw materials, what you've just done is chemistry. So by definition, we'll say that chemistry is the study of matter, its composition, its properties, its uses, and the changes in which matter undergoes. Today, um, we call the father of chemistry Antoine Lavoisier. Antoine Lavoisier was a French chemist who happened to be uh, one of the major chemists to, to bring a revolution to the world of science and the world of chemistry. He, he, he painstakingly brought new concepts to chemistry from um, the discovery of oxygen to um, certain laws, the fundamental laws of chemistry and all sorts, right? So Lavoisier today, being the first chemist to start a major work on chemistry and helped us modernize chemistry, we call him today the father of modern chemistry, right? So chemistry is very interesting. What we'll do in this subject is we'll take each topic in chemistry step by step. And then what we'll do is we'll go through from the tiniest bits and we build on that by very little incremental steps from one concept to another to another, all right, just to ensure that you understand everything we'll talk about throughout this course. So let's welcome you on board. Do want to join us as we start this new course of chemistry, and we hope that at the end of it, you should understand um, and have a good grasp of this whole concept. In the next lecture, we'll look at the merits of chemistry, how chemistry has played a part to our lives, what advantage chemistry has to the modern world. And up to that point, thank you until we see the next lecture when we take that.